Hey Lestrange, it's Ashlita and hi Elite 7 Connects. I miss y'all guys. I miss my friends. I um I've been working a lot and I've been feeling like boo-boo so I haven't been doing any videos um I want to do like one video a week minimum and go from there but what I'm going to do is just give y'all a little update of what I've been up to so if y'all go back to some of my uh beginning videos on YouTube um the one where I'm talking about, I thought I have food in my teeth. Um, where I'm talking about myself, about the nasty bean boozled jelly beans. Y'all will see how slim my face is. Um, and if, if, if y'all see my profile picture, y'all will see how slim I was. And <clears throat> I lost that weight um, working out really hard every single day, um, eating high carb, low fat, vegan diet. And I lost the weight and kept it off for a while, but I think around October, I started getting some of the weight back. So my BMI is, um, for my height, I believe is, let me look it up. Forty-four point sixty-three, and I seem like I can't get back in control of my habits, my eating habits. I've became like the secret eater where. Uh, majority of the time I eat real healthy during the day, but at night time, I want to eat the house down. I want to eat everything. So I've been depressed from that, and I, I'm out of control. So um, with that, also, I have an autoimmune muscle disease. We don't know what type it is. We've been doing blow work, send it off to California, trying to figure out what it is that I actually have. We know it's within my muscles. So um, that alone has kind of, I have moments where I'm like full of energy and I feel fine and I'm great. And then it's like a switch that's turned off and I'm, ex I'm extremely exhausted and <clears throat> Um, my body is stiff and I'm in severe pain and I barely can move and it takes everything in me to get to work. Well, gaining this weight back hasn't helped at all, <clears throat> but let me just give y'all like a timeline. So for once they realized that I have an autoimmune disease, they found out that it was within my muscles. Um, that was back in April of 2016. So I started prednisone, um, at 50 milligrams, 40 milligrams. I can't remember a day. Um, and then dwindled down to 10. And then back during the summer, I was on methotrexate, which, <clears throat> oh, and folic acid, which I still take folic acid, but the, I was on methotrexate which is um, a low chemotherapy um, type peel, a uh, form of chemotherapy type peel. Anyways, it was really harsh on my liver, so after I think three to four months of that, I had to be taken off um, because of my liver. And even though I believe in mind over matter, meditating, um, I was eating very healthy, um, <clears throat> eating lots of mangoes, bananas, pineapple, taking, well, eating as much turmeric um, as I possibly could. Now I take the turmeric capsules, um, vegan turmeric capsules, curcumin, I can't remember. Um, taking my vitamins, um, which helps, not a lie, and it's just mind over matter. I don't feel like mentally um, I've been 
strengthening myself to heal from the inside out. So that's my fault. So anyways, I came off the methotrexate. Um, and then September, I got pregnant. And I was so excited. But October 20th, I'm, I had a chemical pregnancy. So I was only like going into my sixth week. Like I was just, I don't know, two, three days shy of six weeks. So it was a chemical pregnancy. When that happened, it just threw everything off. Like my muscle pain started to come back. I stopped taking the prednisone because um, that's when the weight started around that time. That's when the weight started like piling on very quickly and <clears throat> I had gained 27 or 37 pounds since October. Um, that's a lot of weight. And so that's made me depressed is about that weight. And I thought coming off the prednisone that, um, I would go back to eating the way I used to without any problems with ease that I would um, work out. I just saw everything would go back to normal, um, but it hasn't. And then also I found out that I have the beginning stages of endometriosis, that um, I had a lot of cysts, type two diabetes, high blood pressure, so I was put on medicine for my blood pressure, put on metformin for my type 2 diabetes, but guess what? The metformin dissolved all my cysts. So I almost, um, this past visit, which was last week, not this past week, but last week, um, the week that I worked seven days straight. So I went into the doctor's office and then afterwards, um, that was supposed to be my off day, I went into work. Because someone called out. Anyways, I, they were gonna, they were checking to see if my sis were still there and if they were, I was gonna be scheduled for surgery. So, no, I didn't get scheduled for surgery. That was March 2nd, I believe was my doctor's appointment, I think. It was a Tuesday, last Tuesday. So then anyways, I have decided that I um, could go through a lot of things to get pregnant, but I've decided to hold off. So I decided to do birth control. So my period was due on March the 2nd, but it didn't come. Oh, you know what, that was February 27th. <laughs> And then my cycle started on March the 3rd, which was supposed to be on the 2nd. That's what it was. But anyway, so I decided to do birth control. So with my health issues, the doctor decided to do the NuvaRing. So I put it in the day that I started my cycle, like I was told. And today, I took this bitch out and I'm still bleeding. I know TMI. I know that a lot of guys watch my videos, so I do apologize. So, yeah. And then I... I was really weak. My muscles have been. Oh, I got a visitor. My son came in. He's got to use the bathroom. So anyways, I took this heifer out because the doctor said if my head started hurting really bad or if I started having heart pain to go to the ER. Well, I woke up with a headache this morning, but it wasn't that bad, but I wasn't taking any chances. And I just felt like really lethargic for the last two days. Like all I wanted to do was sleep and that's not normal for me. Normally when I have my cycle, I'm excited and I want to do things. Anyway, she got removed. On top of everything else, um, because of my weight gain, I decided not to have any more babies. And... <clears throat> I want to have weight loss surgery, so I have the metabolic and bariatric surgery guide. So this shit's filled with things that I have to do to um, get approved through the insurance company. And because I had lost weight and was doing and kept the weight off until October, my time lapse, I have to start everything all over again. So 
yeah, I have to be on a weight loss program for six months and all that greatness. All right, so part of that, um, I have to quit smoking. And y'all know, like, cigarettes are my best friend. I love them. Um, anyways, but I want to be skinny. I want to be healthy. I want to be, I want to look flawless. Um, so, as of today, I'm on the patch. And I have some nicotine gum. I got a lot of gum. But I'm really sad and then I want to cry because I love my cigarettes. They have been my friend for years and I will truly miss them and I want one now. <clears throat> and I got a patch on so I'm trying not to smoke and this patch is itchy. I'm trying not to smoke because and, and, and then taking this out also helps because I'm not trying to get a blood clot from the two combined and dying overnight. So... <clears throat> Anyways, <clears throat> I have to be completely smoke free because I have to go and take some kind of, I don't know, test for my lungs to verify I've not smoked on April the 15th. So I'm going to be a, probably a big crybaby. I'm not sure if I'm going to do any videos because I'm going to be going through some changes because I really love my cigarettes. But yeah, that's an update. Um, I've just been working a lot. I've been seeing a lot of doctors. I'm going to be continuing to see a lot more doctors because <clears throat> I've got to do all this stuff for the surgery. I've got to call my insurance company and have this nurse. Um, I forgot what it's called, but she's going to be my new best friend. Um, so, yeah. I guess I will pre-op go through everything that I've been, you know, that I'm going to be doing with. So I got a history, the history and physical. I've already went and took some little um, bacteria tests where you blow into a bag and it seals it. And then you drink this very tart lemon drink. And then you're on a timer and then you have to blow after the timer beeps or goes off. You blow into another bag to see if you have some type of bacteria in your gut. I don't know, stomach, something that they can find through your breath. And I didn't have that bacteria. So I've already passed the, I got the, I've done the history and physical. Um, I've already done the, I've got to call the bariatric resource service through my insurance company. They posted that I did that already. And they verified that my BMI is high enough for the surgery. Um, <clears throat> but I've got to do the PCP letter, bariatric education workshop, the nutritionist one-on-one, psychological clearance for bariatric surgery, the physician, supervised weight loss of at least six months, um, not smoking, lab work, see the car and get clearance from the cardiologist. So that's going to be a lot. Um, I work for T-Mobile. I have United Healthcare. So if anyone's interested in going through this with me and what, um, and they have similar insurance and work for this, a similar company, um, I, my insurance pays 100%. Um, as long as I contact, um, contact them. If I don't, and I go, um, do this on my own and do everything without the nurse through my insurance company, then I have a $250 deductible and they only pay 80%. So, and then I pay the other 20%, but I'm going to call my resource center and get the 100%. Anyways, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. I love you guys. That's my update for now. And I'll chit-chat with you later.